Hello, this is uh, Sunday 13th of September 2020. Uh, this is a short video about the last video I load up from this uh, woman. She calls herself uh, Amazing Polly and it's really amazing. And um, well, I have to apologize, uh, Mr. Trump, the President of the United States. Um, I did a video. I was sitting on the Rhine and I was telling about uh, the ancestors of Mr. Trump that they came from Germany, from uh, Pfalz, from Palatine, and they they had the name uh, Trump, so there was an F, and they so this kind of things. And uh, well, and I sh I said also that. In Germany it's quite relaxed and well that he's somehow standing in the line of fire and I'm just relaxing and um, well um, there was a mocking smiling at my face I want to apologize uh, because I found something out that is really amazing well um, I found out that uh, this is a big chance we have now and uh, Mr. Trump is not playing uh, their game this is what I thought well, I thought, well, this is a game like it was in the past, you know, there's a good bar guy and there's a bad guy, but they're all working together for the same Pope of Rome. This is what usually is the case, you know, uh, but I found out it is not. I found out that Mr. Trump stepped out of the game and he has his own will. And there was another guy in internet, his name was... Uh, um, I forgot this, his name. He 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 made something about this Corona um, crisis. Uh, he is a medicine doctor, and uh, he said that it is a fake uh, pandemic and so on. Rashid uh, Butter. Yeah, I think his this was his name. Um, originally, he's from Pakistan, but he served in the uh, U.S. Army. And now he's a doctor. His name is Rashid uh, Butter. And he uh, made a video that there were several attempts on the life of Mr. Trump. And I was thinking by myself, well, this can't be. You know, they are profis and they shot JF Kennedy. And why should Mr. Trump uh, survive several attempts on his life uh, shortly after his election, before he came to office? Well, um, well I was thinking about it. And I asked also God, and I, I asked, well, can this be? And he said, well, you know, I saved also your life many times, and uh, they don't like him. And, um, and I was thinking, well, uh, that's true. When I uh, survived several attempts on my life, so, why, so it is possible that God helps also other people. I'm maybe not the only one God helps. And... Then uh, this video of Amazing Polly is it's really amazing. Well, um, I tell you a little bit about it. Um, I hope you saw it already. It is very important. Um, there uh, is in the last part of her video, there's a retired Colonel Richard Black, and um, he uh, talks about uh, two men who uh, wrote an uh, open letter. Uh, to this man who's the most important man in the US uh, Army his name is uh, Mark Milley or Malay Milley I'm sorry I think Milley is r right spelled uh, uh, pronounced sorry uh, my English is bad I'm sorry I know so this man is uh, the uh, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and there were two uh, retired um, uh, le lieutenants or colonels the one w the first one was Paul Yingling and the other was John Nagel and they both both wrote a letter to Mark Milley that uh, if Mr. Trump is not leaving the o office um, until the 2021 of January 2021 um, 21, so that is uh, uh, after the election, then uh, he has to uh, go uh, with uh, 
forces uh, into the White House to drop Mr. Trump out. Well, this is a coup. Uh, we all know that um, Joe Biden has not a chance anymore. It is quite clear that Mr. Trump will win the election. And this is a real coup. And I found something out about this two gentlemen who wrote this open letter to Mark Milley. And um, the first thing I found out that um, Paul Yingling, uh, he graduated in 1989, um, a degree in international relations. And uh, it was the University of Dukesk, uh, University of the Holy Spirit, um, a private university in Pittsburgh uh, that is ruled by the Jesuit order. So he came from a Catholic, uh, Catholic high school, uh, university, sorry. Uh, the second uh, man, John Nagel, um, a lieutenant colonel, uh, so they both retired already, you know. And, but John Nagel, he graduated from Crichton Preparatory um, School, 1984. It's a pri uh, private Jesuit uh, school uh, for boys uh, in Nebraska. So uh, after that he went to West Point. You know West Point is well known. Um, but uh, so they both have a Roman Catholic uh, background. And it is quite um, uh, clear that they are working uh, for the Pope. And it is like all these uh, pastors in your country said, you know, I load up this uh, films from um, Eric John Phelps and Bill Hodge, so, and they uh, also other um, who know the Revelation, the last part of the Bible of the New Testament, they, they are all telling you that uh, there is a beast with seven heads, which is Rome, and there's a fight for freedom and the papacy, the Pope of Rome, uh, they knew uh, the Pope will win or they will win. So it is us or them. It is quite simple. Uh, they don't want to have a free America. Um, they have built up already this FEMA camps and they enforcing China as a new world power, that all this burnings in the west coast of the USA, uh, it is man-made, uh, it is not by somehow a climate change, uh, they they laying these fires to uh, bring this west coast down, also this uh, riots there in California, it's all this preparation for the landing of the Chinese army. Um, with God's help, uh, it will never happen. And I find out that I found out that Mr. Trump has an own will, and that we have to back him. He's uh, the only hope we have now. If a free America falls, so also uh, the other parts in the world uh, will fall. The other free parts, like Australia, you heard what they doing in. Um, Victoria, in this uh, south of Australia, they have so strict laws that they bring people into prison just because they say what they think. It is uh, it's a dictatorship already in the south of Australia. And uh, here in Germany I can say uh, that my government, um, Angela Merkel, is not working for the people. She's not opposing uh, the papal power. Uh, she's working for the Pope and Mr. Trump is the only president in the world who has the, has the uh, courage and, and also the power uh, to oppose the Pope. So we have to back him. Uh, he's our hope that we will win this fight and don't fear them, don't fear them. Um, uh, this is uh, this is about uh, light and darkness. You know, it's it is like in the Bible. It is a biblical situation now. It, it is a real Armageddon. Well, it can also be 
that there will be blood, but I hope that it's not too much, you know. But um, this is a fight we have to fight. Um, there's no nothing like, well, I maybe stay better at home, or I'm sitting in a coffee, like my people here do in Germany. Well, maybe the other can fight, and I, I stay in the coffee and uh, have a good time. So th this is not a time for drinking coffee. In a FEMA came, camp, there will be no coffee anymore, you know. You, you got a bag of uh, slices of bread and s something more and that's it. Uh, no, uh, this is no life anymore. This is, this is a real fight now. And if they try this coup in January next year, um, we have to protect Mr. Trump um, and maybe building a ring around the White House. Why not? They can't shoot on their own people, no. And I think that uh, this military will not um, betray uh, their own president. I think that uh, they like Donald Trump and that they will refuse this criminal commands uh, to take over the White House for this satanic people that are working for the Pope. Pope. Sorry, that's for the moment. Well, don't be afraid. Um, let's go into the fight.